This is part 7 of the Mario tutorial and in this video we're actually ready to start building our level. We've got all of the items that are in the first level of Mario um, dragged out into our level and all scripted. Uh, so we're ready to start copying stuff to actually make the level. So we'll jump into our uh, what we've got so far. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, just drag everything over to the left side of the level just so it's out of the way and we're going to use it as like a palette where we're just going to be uh, copy and pasting stuff from there uh, into our actual level. So we'll just make some room and make sure it's out of view at the start of the level. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now we're ready to start. Uh, we'll start by making this a little bit bigger. And then the first thing we're going to need are some coin blocks. So there's three coin blocks in the first little area. So we'll copy the block and then paste out one, two, three of them. And we'll do the same for the coin. And then there's also a mushroom in that area, so we'll use our heart block. So there's a coin, and then there's two spaces, then a regular um, no item block, uh, then the heart block, then another regular block, then a coin, and then another regular block. And then in the center above that, there's another coin block. And now we just need to change all the script events. So if we actually just take a look at this, we'll see what's wrong. So when we jump up and hit this, it shoots a coin out of everything. Because right now they're all sending the same event, hit coin one. So we need to change it. Um, so that they each have their own uh, hit event. So this will be hit coin two. And we have to make the coin match that. This part's kind of tedious. And this will be coin three. And this will be coin four. All right, let's try this again. So we get our coin there, our heart there, coin there and another coin there. Okay, so that little area is good. And now we need an enemy. So the enemy from this area is just a walking left enemy. So we'll just copy one of those. And then, yep, we got our enemy that's walking to the left. We can jump on them and then get all the stuff in this little area. All right, so that first part's done. So next we've got the part with the pipes. So we're just gonna use some raised ground for the pipes. First we'll make some more room for ourselves, then we'll drag out some raised up ground, resize that. Okay, so the first one is just sticking out a little bit, and then the next one is up a bit more, and then the next two are one level higher than that. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we're going to need some patrolling enemies to go uh, in the middle there uh, of the pipes. So we'll copy some patrollers. And uh, there should be one in here. 
and two in here. Okay, let's give that a try. And we can actually uh, drag the player over just closer to that area just so we don't have to walk all the way over every time we want to test this. Yep, so we got the guys patrolling. We're just going to need to tweak the uh, number of seconds they patrol for um, so that they actually go back and forth between the two ends. So we'll try like two seconds instead of one. And we should move these guys to the edge of the area. Uh, it's not important for the single guy, but for the two guys it's pretty important. Because if they hit the uh, end before they start patrolling back the other way, then they'll end up bunching up and you won't see the two of them patrolling together. It'll just look like one guy. But that looks pretty good how it is right now. Two seconds seems like a decent amount of time for that. Okay, so we're uh, done with that area then. And we can keep on moving our player along. And we'll resize this again. Um, actually, that's a bit too big because there's a gap coming up. So we'll just make it like that. And then we'll need to start a new piece of ground uh, for the area after the gap. And this one's should be bigger than that. Yeah, that's about right. And now we're going to need some ground. So we've got that there. And then there's a longer uh, stretch of ground up just above that. I'm not trying to get it exactly the amount of tiles uh, that's in Mario. I could uh, just like count the numbers and do it perfectly, but that would make this video really long. So I'm just sort of getting it roughly the same as uh, the Mario level. Okay, and now we're going to need um, some more coin blocks. Actually, we need to resize this first because the gap is too far out. It should just be like right there before the gap in the uh, in the ground above. Uh, now we'll need to bring back some coin blocks. So we'll go back to our palette, or actually we can just copy them right from here. We'll copy a block, go back here, paste one uh, there, and one there, one there. Actually that one I pasted here is wrong. Uh, that's not a coin block, that's a fire block. That's where you get the fire flower. So I'll go back and get that. Paste it in. And we need the fire flower itself. And then the, we need coins for those coin blocks. Okay, so we'll set the number, we'll make this five, and five again, so it matches up, and this will be six. Again, that's kind of tedious changing all those numbers, but that's how you have to do it. Um, and now we'll copy another one of these and paste it. So that should yeah, just be like a double gap there. Okay, and now we can try this out. So we got the fire flower here. That lets us shoot some bullets. 
and then we got the coin block here and here. Okay, that's good. Um, the next thing we should do is um, we should change that second coin block so that it shoots out a bunch of coins because that's the one block uh, that actually does more than one coin. So we'll just change the number. So is less than, we'll change that from one. Can't remember exactly how many this is in Mario, but we'll just make it like eight for now. So now when we go back over there, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get eight coins out of there before it stops. And yep, so we got our fire flower and everything. Okay, so that area is looking pretty good. Uh, next, we got to add the enemies to it. So we want the walk left type of enemy. So we'll copy this guy. And uh, there's two of them that just spawn up on this platform here. And they walk and sort of fall down. So we'll try that. Cool. So they walk and they fall down onto there. And then they fall into the pit. That's good. Um, and then... We'll need some more enemies over here. There's going to be two of them. Keep making this a bit bigger. Whoops, made it too short. Okay. Can also have a chance to try out our fire flower on them. All right, that's good. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to do is add the star because the star comes up next. So we'll just copy it over, copy the star block first, and paste it over here. And then we'll go back for the star. Paste it again, and uh, there's a regular block that just sits next to that. Okay, so we can try this, and we don't need to change the uh, numbering for the star or the fire block, uh, just because there's only one of them in the level, so it doesn't actually conflict with anything. Um, let's move these guys out just a little bit so that we can actually try out the star on them. Okay, and yeah, we can walk right through them and kill them. So, uh, those guys are kind of like far out. Um, we, can, uh, we can move them back in and just change where the player spawns. Eventually, since the player is going to spawn at the start of the level, uh, we're going to need to um, trigger them to start moving, not at the game starts, but once the player reaches a certain point in the level. So like since the player is going to spawn way back at the start, um, we're going to need to say, oh, the, don't make the, them start moving until the player reaches here or something like that. Um, but we'll set that up later. So now uh, we can start our player right up here. And we'll uh, leave the these two guys we'll leave over here. And we'll copy another guy because there's another enemy that spawns out here. So that's good for now. And next, uh, we're going to need some more coin blocks. Uh, there's a little triangle of them coming up. Copy this. And there's three of them. Uh, with a heart block on top. We'll do the coins first. Uh, and they're separated by two spaces. Okay, so now I'll just change the numbering. This is seven. Uh, 
is eight. And this is nine. If I can tap it, there we go. Nine. And then same thing for the block, seven, eight, nine. Seven. Eight. Nine. All right, let's give that a try. Oh, we copied the one with uh, eight coins in it. So we'll have to reset that back. That's kind of inconvenient, but oh well. It just takes a second. One. And one. And one. Okay, let's give that another try. There we go. Okay, and now we need a heart block to go on top. And got to change that to heart two. Okay, let's check that. All right, that's good. Okay, we can move on to the next area now. Um, so the next area has got like four enemies in a row that spawn. So we'll copy a bunch of these guys. Actually, we should probably resize the level because we're going to need more room for them. And Actually, I'll do the blocks first just because it's easier to get the spacing right. I don't want to be off by too much. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good, and then we'll put in the enemies. Okay, uh, that's good. And let's give this a try. Alright, so the enemy that did some damage to me there. Oh. Okay, we got our enemies. Now we're going to need some coin blocks. There's two in there. Right, so this should be uh, 10 and 11. Okay, let's make sure those work. Hmm, what we do there? Eleven. 
Hold that then. Ten. Ten. Uh, maybe I just hit them both at the same time there. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, we can come back to that later. We'll just leave it for now. Or actually, let's try just deleting this. Delete and redo it. I must have screwed something up there. Okay, that's better. Um, Alright, so that area is good now. Uh, the next part is like there's a little um, like staircase uh, type thing, like stairs up and down. So we're going to build that next. Um, so we'll just make some uh, just like pillars basically to do the stairs. Um, so it goes up to four is the highest. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay. Alright, uh, they should actually be a lot closer than that. And then there's stairs going down. Um, actually, they should maybe be a little bit further than that. I think they're one space away. Yeah, that looks good. And then there's two spaces between... Uh, the up and down. Okay, let's try out our staircase. Alright, that's good. And then after that, there's a staircase with... Um, or actually... You might not be able to do the uh, the four staircase because you're going to be able to get stuck in there, um, which is kind of bad because you don't get a game over. So maybe we'll just make this a three staircase. Yeah, that's all right. We'll move our player up again. So then there's just a little bit of a gap between there, and we start getting another staircase. Uh, this one we actually can do four because it's just got a hole in the middle, um, which will give us a game over so we don't have to restart the level manually. So yeah, we'll just make this one the full height. And there's meant to be two at the top height. And then there's just a gap. So we'll close this up. And we'll start a new one. And it should be two away. Oops. I'll copy that. And then, then staircase going down. Okay, let's try out this set of stairs. So we can fall in and end our game or make it over. All right. So now let's do the last little area here. Um, 
we need another. Uh, actually, first, let's resize this. Okay, so we need like a little pillar. That's good. And then one on the other end here. And then we need three regular, or I guess just two, and we can resize one of them. And there should be a coin block in the middle there. So we go back and get a coin block. And script it. So we'll make this 12. Okay, let's give that a try. Oh, whoops, I'll just move my player over that. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then we need two enemies uh, for this little area here, that patrol. So we'll go back and get some patrolling guys. Okay, let's try that. Uh, they don't really patrol long enough. Because uh, that's a bigger area than we had before, so try like three. Yeah, that's just about right. Maybe like 3.3. 3.2. .3. See how that looks. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Okay, and now there's a staircase that just leads to the end of the level, so we'll build that. Uh, that should be our last thing. Our second last, I guess. So this is going to need to be longer now. So let's see how many blocks we need here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The last two are at the same height. Okay. And now we just need um, a flag to complete the level. So we'll make some more space. And then we'll just put the flag like right there. Or we can put it on top of a block for more authentic Mario. It's not as high as it is in Mario, but we can at least do that. So it sits on top of the block. Uh, 
Alright, so the flag doesn't do anything yet, but we're going to make that complete our level. And actually, we'll make this um, so it covers up the ground, so it just looks like it's coming out of the ground there. And we'll change the script for this. So as soon as we touch it, um, we're going to do a complete level. All right, there we go. Um, so that's basically the Mario level. Uh, the only thing left to do is um, tweaking the enemies so they all spawn at the correct time, or they all start walking at the correct time. Uh, but we're just going to wait and do that in another video. So in the next part, I'm going to show you how to do that.